welcome to this video about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and its successor, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. In Jedi Fallen Order, players could explore only five planets out of the seven in the game. However, Jedi Survivor allows you to explore all six planets and asteroids from the beginning. Let's take a closer look at each planet and how to fast travel to them. First up is Coruscant, the capital planet of the Galactic Empire. As Emperor Palpatine rules Coruscant, it's heavily guarded with stormtroopers and droids. In this planet, you will face stormtroopers and droids as the main enemies. Next is Cabo, an abandoned planet with thick forests and vicious wildlife. In Jedi Survivor, you will encounter hostile aliens and monstrous creatures on Cabo. The deadliest threat on this planet is bandits, ruthless outlaws that don't appreciate Jedi's company. Jeddah is a deserted planet with little to no life, and its harsh weather and sandy surface make it impossible for most species to survive. However, it's a perfect home for Scritton, the ruthless scorpion. In Jedi Survivor, Jeddah will reveal lots of lore about the New Republic era in Star Wars. Shattered Moon is a small abandoned New Republic lab that players can explore in Jedi Survivor. It can unveil lots of lore about the New Republic era in Star Wars, just like Jeddah. Nova Garen is the smallest planet in Jedi Survivor and is technically a crystalline asteroid that covers all the nefarious activities of the Galactic Empire. Players can only explore the bureau structures on Nova Garen, making it one of the shortest sections of the game. Finally, we have Tanalor, an exotic planet in Cabo Abyss that's remained untouched. Since the Empire hasn't been able to conquer Tanalor, many parties are trying to find and occupy it. In Jedi Survivor, Tanalor is the final planet to unlock, and it rolls the game's last chapters. All six planets, Examuns, and asteroids in Jedi Survivor have free roam options, but the main explorable areas are Coruscant, Cabo, Jedha, and Tanalor. The other two sections are relatively small and have fewer secrets, collectibles. To fast travel to all planets, players must repair the Mantis in Chapter 2 to unlock interstellar travel. After this objective's completion, all unlocked planets will be accessible via the spaceship, and the only prerequisite for visiting them would be progressing in the story. Fast travel unlocks in the same chapter, but Cal Kestis cannot use the meditation points to travel between planets. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is available now for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S, so jump into the game and explore all the six planets in the game. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.